Hi guys, um, just a quick one before I start. Christmas time, I just like to remember the uh, the troops that that support our our countries around the world. Um, just like to spare a thought for them at this time. They're away from their families, working hard and in dangerous places. So just spend a perhaps a minute. Just reflecting and uh, I'd like to thank them all for their service. Um, if you download and unzip all the software, install the Arduino IDE software Now you need to copy the Sanguino Master folder that you uh, unzipped and paste it into the documents slash Arduino slash hardware. If you are doing this for the ANET A8, copy the ANET folder from the ANET board master folder that you downloaded and post that into the hardware folder. Um, you need to open the Marlin 1.1.x um, unzipped folder, go to Marlin and then example configurations and for the, for the CR10 I went to Creality CR10 Mini and for the ANET A8 I went to ANET and then the ANET A8. Copy the files for the printer you selected, return to the Marlin folder so it's Marlin 1.1.x slash Marlin and then paste those files that you've copied into that folder. So uh, the Creality TR CR10 Mini firmware uh, I don't think comes with thermal runaway. I know the ANA A8 definitely doesn't come with thermal runaway protection so I decided to install um, Marlin onto both of those printers for that reason. You also need an Arduino Uno, uh, I used a knockoff Chinese one, uh, five female to female jumpers and one male to female jumper. The setup is quite simple, you connect the Uno to the 3D printer board serial pins. I'll just uh, I'll just zoom in and um, and you can see the six serial pins on the CR10 Minis board which you connect to the UNO's serial pins. Um, the configuration uh, of each set of pins is the same. The only difference in connections is that the the bottom right jumper goes to pin 10 on the UNO. So we open the Arduino IDE and select files, examples, Arduino ISP, Arduino ISP. This opens a new window with the sketch in it. We now set up the hardware with tools, board, Arduino Uno. Oh, it's an update, we won't bother with that just now. Then we go to tools, port and check that the COM port that we're using, mine's COM port 9 which I'll select, yours will probably be different. Then we select tools, Program Arduino as ISP. It's very important to use the as ISP selection here. Uh, then we upload the sketch. We'll fast forward through this uh, section. It could take some time. So that's done uploading, so we can X out of that, uh, leaving the blank-ish sketch. So now we need 
tools board sanguino it is there it's just not on my screen it's right at the bottom of the list then tools processor 80 mega 1284 1284p 16 megahertz check that the com port is still the right one then we can click burn bootloader this will only take a second and well as you can see it's already done so the Arduino has been set up as a device to burn bootloaders and we have now used that Arduino to burn a bootloader onto the CR10 Mini's main board. Uh, so the next thing we need to do is now upload the firmware. So I'm going to open the Marlin 1.1.x folder, open the Marlin folder, examples configuration, Creality, CR10 Mini, and then copy all of the files in that directory and post them into the main Marlin director directory, clicking replace replace files. Then scroll down to the Marlin.ino file and open it into the Arduino IDE. Now disconnect the Arduino from the 3D printer board and connect the 3D printer board via its USB to your computer. Once that's done, go to Tools Board and make sure Sanguino is selected. That the processor is still 80 mega, 1284, 1284p, 16 megahertz. Check your COM port, then Program. AVR ISP Mark II. So Tools Program AVR ISP Mark II. Uh, click on the tick to verify the sketch. This took ages. It took about nine minutes for, for me, so be patient. We'll fast forward through this uh, section. It could take some time. So it's done compiling and checking the sketch. Uh, it's come back with no errors. Uh, so now we can flash the firmware. Um, it recompiles, doesn't take as long as last time, uh, and then uploads. But this only took a couple of minutes. So just be patient still. And there you can see done uploading. So you can see the the screens when I flash up the ANET A8 with the Marlin software and the Creality CR10 Mini. I hope this was of some use to you. Um, thumbs up, give me some comments and feedback. I'm more than welcome to receive it. Thanks very much. See you later, guys. Bye.